I'm Greg England. I'm a cardiothoracic surgeon here at Bay Medical Center. I've been practicing here for a little bit more than 16 years. Following open heart surgery, most patients, uh, you know, obviously will have varying degrees of incisional discomfort. That's one of the things they want to know about the most. It's not uh, 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 that much of an issue. Usually, we have, uh, you know, obviously pain medications that we give to help control discomfort. Uh, but we're going to be, uh, and that's doing everything we can to get the patients up and about. We want them up out of the bed, walking, coughing, deep breathing. So we have our patients out of bed the morning after surgery, almost always, uh, up in a chair. They may feel a little drowsy and, and they may be falling asleep, but they're up in a chair. And, uh, and then as we get their drains and lines out and they become more mobile and further out from surgery, we get them ambulating. And one of our goals is we want patients walking the halls uh, before they go home. Uh, they may be limited as how much, how far they can go, but but as ambulatory as possible. We really want to get people up and moving about after surgery. It's it's a very simple thing. It's not uh, real complicated or, or sophisticated, but it provides very important benefits. Most notably, it helps prevent complications like uh, pneumonia, blood clots, and things like that. And the biggest restrictions after heart surgery really primarily relate to allowing the breastbone or the sternum to heal properly. So. Um, uh, we generally limit how much physical activity people do that would involve the use of their arms and shoulders and chest wall muscles. So we tell them no heavy lifting, pushing, pulling, things of that nature until the breastbone has had adequate time to heal. Once it's properly healed, they can do anything they want without restrictions. It just takes time. Uh, every surgeon has... Any restrictions after you have surgery? The biggest restrictions after heart surgery really primarily relate to allowing the breastbone or the sternum to heal properly. So um, uh, we generally limit how much physical. We routinely see all of our patients for follow-up visits uh, in the office. Usually it's about three weeks after discharge, which is about four weeks after surgery because they're typically in the hospital for about a week. If there's any issues that require further follow-up, we, we continue to see them until that's resolved. But the overwhelming majority, overwhelming majority of patients we only need to see about once. Um, uh, they follow up with their cardiologists as well, and then of course with their primary care physicians. And then the cardiologists continue to follow them long term. If they uh, encounter some issue down the road that uh, would warrant uh, further surgical intervention, then they, they get back, back to see us again.